What is up, readers? Welcome to another video. I am the Book Browser. Today, we're discussing another book, and that is going to be about Lost in Babylon by Peter Lorangis. Okay, guys, after reading The Colossus Rises, I have gone to another adventure with Jack, Cass, Ali, and Marco in this epic book, and I can't wait to share my opinions with all of you. As you can notice, the book here is called Red, and this book takes place at the High Gardens of Babylon. And of course, this book is, isn't is the same without the different illustrations, which I am so entertained because every time I read and I see an illustration just like this, it makes me want to read more because it enhances my imagination and by these drawings with these drawings in this book it helps me make appreciate the series even more okay so this book continues with the story of the seven wonders so marco betrayed the ki or the kara institute and jack cast and ali need to find the rest of the loculi and i feel so bad for them because at the start of their journey, Marco has stolen one of the Loculi, and what's even worse is that Marco betrayed them. So far, that's all I can say for those of you who have not read this book. Why haven't you read this book? Read it. Come on. Stop this video and read this book because this series is so epic. So bye for now, and I'll see you again if you have read the book. Okay, without further ado, let's start the book talk. So first things first, I feel bad for Marco's parents in this book because first of all, they didn't want Marco to have this G7W disease and what's worse is that in the solution of finding a cure of finding these loculi, Marco betrays the team and I can't find a valid reason why would he do that. Let's talk about the spotlight of the place where this book takes place. Oh, that rhyme! Okay, so let's talk about the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. At first, when I read that our next destination is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. I can't really imagine what it looks like, so I searched it up in Google and this is the image. I was so astounded by how beautiful it looks like. And I wish many structures or buildings here on Earth would adapt to this kind of style in order for the Earth to be healthy. We need Earth. The Earth doesn't need us. We need Earth. So it's time to start to build these kind of structures with nature-friendly designs. Okay, so at the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, they met the king, his royal highness, the king, and Daria. And I really love Daria in this book. If you want to know more about Daria, you should read the pamphlet Select and the Orphan because the orphan mentioned in that pamphlet is Daria. Oh my goodness, when I read the part about Cranach, it reminded me of some creature that is so creepy because, you know, the thing with the eyes, it's just... It creeps me out, man. It creeps me out. It's so shocking as well to know that Daria is a select because, you know, it's just so happy to know that there are more of you. And, you know, it just makes the journey more adventurous and fun. Okay, when I got near to the end of this book, I was really interested in what will happen because Marco betrayed us and I really want to know why. So, at the end of this book, Jack is at NASA headquarters and he is trapped but something or someone is helping him escape and I am really curious I've turned pages and pages really quickly because of this and in the end it was revealed that Jack's mother is the head of the NASA whoa I can't handle that plot twist when I read that line because it made me speechless and when I finish the book, when I read that line, I just close it and stared and stared. Because what? Your mother is the head of the enemy? I really love the Loculus they found in this book because it was the Loculus of Invisibility. So the, the Loculus looks like this in the cover and when you touch the Loculus, of course, you become invisible. Okay, so those are all of my opinions based on this book. And honestly, I can't find anything to dislike about this book because it has so many reasons to be fun. First of all, I really like many chapters but with few pages because it makes the reading much more faster 
and I like reading in a fast pace because I want to finish as many books as I can. Next is the illustrations. The illustrations are still there and it helped me made appreciate the series even more. And third one is that the fact that they should go to different places, especially historic ones, to find different loculus in order to treat their disability just makes the book even more interesting. So I would rate this book a 5 out of 5 stars because it's still a great book. Okay readers, that's all of my time. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Leave a like, comment down below. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Also, don't forget to click the bell button right beside the subscribe one to get notifications when I make videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next video, so stay tuned for more book reviews, book talks, and stuffs about books because we all love books here. This is the book community, and I'll see you in the next video. Also, click this video right here because I know you will enjoy this video, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye, readers, and have fun reading!